Ragabal Tim here again. We are doing game two, David versus Maria. We're doing a gameplay analysis for David. Maria was very nice to volunteer to uh, participate in the gameplay analysis. She's always she did, she's been in a few of mine, and I definitely appreciate her hustle and the way she plays. So it's fun to uh, see her on the court playing against my guys. All right, David, let's see if I can help you help you out here. Maria won game one. And I moved over to the left side so I can get a look at your forehand now and just a little different angle. See if we can help you out. So Maria, in general, you want to avoid her forehand. We talked about this. Uh, her forehand's her best weapon. So you want to keep the ball to the left side of the court as much as possible. I thought that was about three feet short. Is that is that just me? <laughs> That looked like that was way short. Let's take a look here. Okay, so let's take a look at your mechanics first, actually. So, okay, so we talked about the crouch. You crouched a little bit too low. And then you talked about your right foot. You gotta straighten that out. That's something that you're always working on, I know, so I'm not gonna talk about it too much. Contact point, too high. Not too bad, though. You're almost at full extension. And then the, the choice here is excellent. I would drive serve her backhand all day long. That serve landed, yeah, three feet short. I'm not sure if Maria lost it because of the, the reflection on the left side there, but that, that is the shortest serve that I've ever seen returned. I <laughs> uh, like the shot choice. Pinch there on the, on the left. All right, let's see. She's behind you. Ball's behind you, though, too. You want to want to get behind that ball, and your racket's not up. So this is going to be a difficult pinch if you hit it. It's not the worst choice in the world based on the, the position that you're in right now. Um, and she's going to have to go a long way if you actually execute this perfectly. Okay. But um, it's not the worst choice. I just I think passing is just much better in that spot, especially when you're out of position, your feet aren't set, you're not behind the ball. Uh, pass for ceiling. Just get yourself out of trouble. I think I'm going crazy. I think that serve was short too. <laughs> I think Maria's just uh, playing every serve. That's fine. Okay, if the last one was good, then this one is certainly good. Uh, it looks pretty short, but this is a close one. I mean, I, I'd probably play that too. It's hard to tell. All right, so we'll rack it up. I like the choice going to the forehand, David. You got plenty of time. Why hit a backhand and then let the ball drop is too high. You're gonna hit a reverse pinch, which is not the not the worst choice. She's behind you, certainly a good choice. You just when you hit it from this height, though, the ball travels downward, and then it hits the front wall, and then it's gonna in general bounce up. We want to hit that reverse pinch from super low, so it's really flat, and the ball bounces twice before the before the short line. So you actually hit a front wall pinch, and you're able to kill it there. Sometimes taking the right shot, even if you execute it poorly, wins you a rally. It was the right shot, and you, it wasn't the best execution, but you won the rally because of it. So you're going with that lob serve to her backhand. She should cut that off, but she doesn't like to cut serves off. Rack it up. I don't hate the shot choice. Ceiling. Ceiling is a good choice. Keep it off the back. And she's got to let that ball drop, too. So, so far, some pretty good decisions on, on uh, shot selection. Oh, that's close. Did she say that was good? Well, second serve. Keep that serve off the back. It's just way too hard it's coming off the back wall. So an aggressive shot here got you in trouble. You'd been hitting that reverse pinch, so I, I don't blame you for shooting it. But uh, having your racket up is going to help too. So she took a shot, a poor shot, uh, poor execution. You have a setup. Cross over with your racket up, and you'll be able to hit this way more often. Ball well, is pretty low, and the shot's a little difficult. I think down the line pass is just such a such a better shot. But with your racket down, it's it's hard to say. With your racket up, you have more options. So you left it up. She had to go a long way to get to it, but she ended up getting to it and putting it away. Shot selection is just like giving yourself the best chance to win. It's like putting the percentages in your favor. 
which is why I play uh, high percentage racquetball. She should have pinched that. You were behind her. Rack it up. There's that backing up overhead. You want to go ceiling on those. Ceiling, good, perfect. To her backhand, you should get a setup or something. There's your setup, but you didn't recognize it. That ball is actually coming off the back for a setup. Okay, pretty good rally. Let the ball drop. So you want the racket up and the ball down. Keep your racket up, let the ball drop. Pretty good choice on the serve there. A little jam serve to mix things up. Well executed. She just didn't know what to do there. Good stuff. I like the Z. You wanted to hit the side wall though, not the back wall. It did come off the back wall. Good choice though on the Z. Oh, that's a good overhead by Maria. Nice save. And she missed it. So you forced her into an extra shot. All right, a little bit of a comeback here. She got you in the first game, and now you're, uh, looks like you've taken the lead in this game. Another short serve that was good. I like the shot choice. You got a weak position. She's a weak position. You got a setup. Oh, missed an easy one. But that ceiling ball to her backhand earned you that setup. That is a lesson right there, my friend. Ceiling balls to their backhand. That will give you more setups than you, you can imagine. That ceiling ball down the middle is going to be a little more trouble. Good save. Rack it up. Good shot choice. And let that drop. There's your reverse pinch again. <laughs> Even just hammering that reverse pinch. If you let that drop, you're going to kill it a lot more. But that was, I wasn't a terrible choice. I didn't hate it. Good rally, too. You did well that rally. You did really well. She's trying to figure out who served. Ceiling. Excellent. Keep it to her backhand. Rack it up. Good choice. I like the shot choice there. Sometimes I drop those in the front left corner. Sometimes I hit a high Z if my opponent's coming up. And sometimes I hit a wide angle pass to the right. Oh, David, your reverse pinch is on fire. Holy crap. Good stuff. You already know what I'm going to say about your racket, so I won't say it. But I will draw a picture. Racket. Okay, I didn't say it. Okay, now your racket's up. I did say it, sorry. And then the contact point, too high. A little too high. If you're going to hit this high, uh, down the line pass or a cross court pass. But man, you're just nailing that reverse pinch. Why not keep going for it? <laughs> I've had days like that where a low percentage shot's working, so I just keep shooting it. You gotta enjoy those days. You gotta enjoy the moment, right? Just when you start skipping them the next day, you know, go back to the passing game. Go back to the high percentage game. Guys who have a good passing game, they can play racquetball consistently well for a long time. And the guys who are shooters and try to kill everything, they'll have days where they're amazing, and then they'll have days where they're just way off. Passing game is always going to you know, be more consistent. Good pass. I like the choice. There's your setup. Oh, you didn't recognize it. Good choice. Should earn you a setup. It's off the back. Oh, she had a good ceiling ball. Good choice. Ceiling. She had a good pass there. I like what I'm seeing though, you're you're moving her around the court now, putting the pressure on her. Good serve. That's what she does. Tip your cap. Yeah, another good serve. It's just too difficult to try to shoot that ball. Flick that to the ceiling. When I'm playing a good drive server, my, my main goal is if they serve well, I'm just flicking it up the ceiling. That's not a ceiling. That's uh, going to give her a setup. Now you went ceiling, and she missed her shot. 
Ceiling balls are like jabs in boxing, you know? They, they kind of keep them back, keep them, you know, keep them from attacking. Just keep jabbing, jabbing until you get your set up, then you throw the hook. Down the line. Good choice. Another good choice. Just missed it. Down the line pass there was an excellent choice. Okay, we'll pause it right here. This is going to be game one, uh, sorry, game two, part one, and then we'll have probably one more video after this, uh, the second half of game two.